taxable remember this word taxable taxable means all the exempted will remove from the percentage percentage gst cgst sgst igst the goods received by mr anil from unregistered dealer is 10000 we are dealing with whom any transaction happened within karnataka like hubli bangalore darwar you have to calculate cgst igst A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your Tax Management to Unit Six and Session Three. So in this, we are discussing the topic called Introduction to GST as well as Service Tax. In short, we can call it as GST. In the previous session, we understood what is GST. the advantages limitations components as well as what was there before gst and what is there after gst everything we discussed in the previous session and in today's session we go with the practical things the problems we will complete all the problems which are there in gst in the sense all the problem whatever there in your syllabus because if the same thing if you go for bcom what happens GST itself 80 marks paper. GST itself 80 marks paper. In that also they made two. One is indirect tax one, indirect tax two. Means 80 plus 80 almost 160, excluding internals. Including internals it is 200 marks paper. 200 marks paper. But for your examination how much you will get? Only 10 marks. That's why we don't go in depth actually. We go only the major topics. Which are actually required for your examination. Your agenda is very simple. We will understand and will work out two or three problems which are like turnover, taxable turnover. How do you calculate your turnover? Turnover in the sense sales. So what is your sales under GST? We will go into work out in today's session. Problem number one in this. From the following transaction of Mr. Anil of Mysore, compute aggregate turnover under GST Act 2017. In this, what we are supposed to do? Sale of goods by Mr. Anil. This one. Once I read out the question, while doing the answer, I'll explain you the concept. What we are supposed to find out? Aggregate turnover. Remember, this is not taxable turnover. We are calculating aggregate turnover. Aggregate it is nothing but what is the total turnover? What is the total sales that we are supposed to find out? Now, sale of goods by Mr. Anil to Mr. Kumar five lakh. Then, sale of goods by Mr. Anil to Mr. Manu two lakh. Then, sale of goods by Mr. Anil to Zenith one lakh fifty. Next, the goods received by Mr. Anil from unregistered dealer ten thousand. Next. Goods supplied by Anil to job worker in Mysore and returned after completion is one lakh fifty thousand. Then supply of services to Mr. Bishwas and it's chargeable to tax zero rated. The sale of goods to a merchant of USA five lakh. Transfer of goods from branch in Mandya to branch in Bangalore five lakh. The amount of CGST and SGST paid by Anil is. Fifty thousand. These are the information we have in this problem. Now, so what we are supposed to do? The solution I'll tell you. Your solution like computation of aggregate turnover. Computation of aggregate turnover. Whatever given in the question, everything you are supposed to copy and paste. In this, what happens? We are supposed to add all the taxable or aggregate turnover related items. Like in this first one, sale of goods by Mr. Anil to Mr. Kumar of Mandya, five lakh. What you are supposed to do? Sale of goods by Mr. Anil to Mr. Kumar Mandya, five lakh. Just copy paste. Second one, sale of goods from Anil to Mr. Manu of Mumbai, two lakh. Again. Sale of goods by Mr. Anil to Mr. Manu of Mumbai, two lakh. Copy, paste. Then, sale of goods by Mr. Anil to Zenith Company in Bangalore, rupees one lakh fifty thousand. 
Similarly, sale of goods by Mishka Anil to Zenith Company in Bangalore, 1 lakh 50. Again, we copied and pasted. Then, after that, the goods received by Mishka Anil from unregistered dealer is 10,000. We are dealing with whom? Unregistered dealer. That's why the goods received by Mr. Anil from unreceived. See, you are not selling, you are receiving. Anil from unregistered dealer not to be included. See, if you collect any goods from unregistered dealer, is not part of your turnover. So we are not supposed to consider as taxable turnover or else turnover. Then, after that, supply of services to Mr. Bishwas and it is chargeable to tax it. Zero rated. How much? Four lakh. So, good supply will need to job worker. Job worker, zero rated. I'll come later. Before that, we have good supplied by annual to job worker in Mysore returned after completion. What is called as job worker? I'll give a simple example. Whatever I'm wearing that shirt, just assume that somebody will manufacture that shirt. Later, what happens? The coloring part, the logo part, the buttons, everything will be done by XYZ. That whatever the once you done with manufacturing, you will give it to XYZ. What he will do? He will add all the buttons, he will add the logo and some ironing part and everything he will do. After once if it's done, he will give it back to the manufacturer. What manufacturer will do? Manufacturer will sell the goods. Clear? Yes. So whatever the Part of the work given to XYZ is called as job worker. He take a job, he stitch all the buttons, he will give it back to the manufacturer. That is almost five days work, six days work or ten days work. This is called job worker. Hope you are clear. Even though I will go with any four wheeler. So the body part everything will be manufactured by some company. The tire, the seating glass work will be done by some XYZ. So whatever we give it and take it back, that is called job work. That cannot be called as turnover. That cannot be called as sales. Simple, I manufacture, I have given to XYZ just to add buttons. Is it that sale? No, it is only work I have given. Once if it is done, he will give it back. That is called as your job worker. So we are supposed to consider that next. Uh, we are supposed to consider as non-taxable turnover, non-turnover. That's why we mentioned zero. Two things you learned. Any goods received is not turnover and any work given to for job work is not turnover. Then, after that, supply of service to Mr. Bishwas and chargeable to tax, zero rated. Even though it is zero rated, we are not calculating taxable we are calculating total turnover. So it will be what? 4 lakh. Next. The sale of goods to merchant in USA, 5 lakh. See? The sale of goods in merchant in USA, 5 lakh. Done. Next. Transfer of goods from branch of Mandya to branch in Bangalore, 5 lakh. Again, it is 5 lakh. Then. The amount of CGST and SGST paid by Anil, 50,000. So, Again, I'll go back. The amount of CGST, SGST. In the turnover or in the sales, we are not supposed to take tax part. Tax part is not part of your sales. Tax part is not part of your taxable turnover. Remember this point. Now, so you are not supposed to take this. Three things we have not taken. Goods received, we have not taken. Any taxes we have not taken, anything given for job work we have not taken. Other than this, everything we are supposed to consider for your turnover. So add everything. What is your aggregate turnover? 22,50,000 is your aggregate turnover. Then we'll go to problem number two. Measures Harish of Mysore has the following details for the year 2018 and 2019. Now Calculate the aggregate turnover. Supply goods to Hubli for Mysore. Hubli, 30 lakh. First one. Supply agricultural goods to Mangalore. This much. We are calculating aggregate turnover means, remember, even though it is exempted, even though it is zero rated, even though it is agriculture, we should add, because we are not calculating tax, 
while calculating tax, we have to consider as exempted. Here we don't want exempted, we want only total sales. Now, goods supply to a unit of SEZ and goods supply to NGO, then services received, remember, received goods supplied by Akash registered dealer, supplied goods to dealer of needle for 6 lakh 3000 inclusive of GST. GST have to remove and sold exempted goods to uh, Kritika for 2 lakh. Even though it is exempted, part of your aggregate turnover. Now see, supplied goods to Hubli, yes. Supplied agricultural goods to Mangalore, yes. Goods supplied to unit of SEZ, yes. Goods supplied to NGO working at Kashmir, yes. Received, word C, received. Goods supplied by Akash, 3 lakh. We have not taken, why? Because you are not supplied, you are receiving. Then, supplied goods to dealer of Merut, yes. Sold exempted, yes. See, in this, whatever tax is included, we have removed, 6 lakh 30 is there, remove 30,000. See, you remove 30,000, you have written 6 lakh. What is the total? 85. This is called as your aggregate turnover. Whatever tax included, remove. Whatever you have purchased, remove. Whatever is for job work, remove. Hope you are clear. Yes. Note, purchase from registered dealer is an inward supply. IGST shall not be included in aggregate turnover. Hope you got. Yes. I'll go to the last problem. There is a third problem. Swati, a registered dealer in Mysore, provides the following information for the month of June 2018. Now, commodity X sold to a dealer in Delhi, 4 lakh. Commodity A sold at nil rate, 3 lakh. Then, product B sold to dealer, 2 lakh. Product Y exported, 5 lakh. Commodity X sold to a dealer in Jammu and Kashmir, 2 lakh. Product Z sold to an unregistered dealer in Bangalore, 5 lakh. Product M sold to a special economic zone is 4 lakh. What you are supposed to do now? Swati, a registered dealer, Mysore, provide the following information. Now, still we have actually in this product is sold to the dealer of uh, Chandigarh, 6 lakh. Product X, which is exempted from GST, 7 lakh. Product A sold to a dealer in Hubli, that is 3 lakh. Next. Product S sold to a unit of free trade zone, the rate of GST is 8 lakh. Then product K is sold to a registered dealer, 3 lakh. Everything is sales only in this. Determine turnover under CGST, SGST, IGST, calculate the GST payable. See, not only the turnover, we are calculating also what? What about how much GST you are paying? I'll show you that. See. Taxable turnover, we are not taking only turnover, aggregate turnover, we are doing what? Taxable, remember this word taxable, taxable means all the exempted will remove, all the export will remove, all the free trade zone we remove, remember special economic zone we remove, remember. Now, commodity X sold to a dealer, yes, commodity X sold, nil rate. We will not consider because we are not doing aggregate. We are doing what? Taxable. Remember the difference. Now, product X exported to Japan. Yes. Jammu Kashmir products that sold to unregistered dealer. Again exempt. Now, one, this one, commodity X sold to a dealer in Delhi. Yes. Commodity A sold to a nil rate to Hubli. Yes. Product B sold to a dealer of Chennai. Yes, product Y exported, exported, as I told you, we will not consider, product sold to Mangalore, export, zero rate, nil rate, special economic zone, NGO, all these things will not come. Then, product M sold to SCZ, developer in Hassan, this will come. So. Product M sold to SCZ, as I told you, SCZ is exempted. So just read it like this, this is nil. And product A sold to a dealer in Chandigarh, this amount is 5 lakh. SCZ is exempted. Now, 
exempted from GST. So it is exempt only. Product A is sold to a dealer in Hubli who is registered under composition scheme. Taxable. Product S sold to a free trade zone. Free tra trade zone is exempted. And product K is sold to a registered dealer. Yes. Uh, one more exported. I'll go back. Free trade zone and product K is sold. I'll go back to question. So once you are done with your product sold to unit of free trade zone, FTZ, I'll go back to your question. So this is K. Next one is what? I. I is how much? 3 lakh. We'll go for that one. Yes. This is 3 lakh. This is not there. So 3 lakh. What is the total? Once again, it is repeated actually. Now, what is the total now? The total is 25 lakh. These two again, two times repeated, just scratch it that. Uh, take the remaining one. So these things is not there. These also not there. Now, so if you add everything, you will get how much? 25 lakh. What is the percentage? Percentage GST, CGST, SGST, IGST. So calculate whatever percentage given in the question. Now, Percentages are given 12 18%, 28%, 12%, 12%, 5%, 12%, 12%, all the rates are given. Now, I'll go to the first one. Delhi, they have sold for 12%. And commodities sold to a dealer in Hubli. So what is the percentage? I can nail the rate. Product B sold to the Chennai, 5%. Japan, 12%. Jammu and Kashmir, 12%. Mangalore, 12%. Remember like this. See, 12%, 5%, 12%. Calculated and they have returned. Now, again, 12%. See, within Karnataka, then we'll go for CGST, IGST. One state to another state, then we'll go for IGST. Remember, any transaction happened, Within Karnataka, like Hubli, Bangalore, Darwar, you have to calculate CGST, IGST. If it is 12%, calculate 12%, make it half. 6,000, 6,000. Calculate 12%, you got 60,000. 30,000, 30,000. Hope you are clear. As like this, you are supposed to calculate. What is the last one? IGST. What is the IGST like? IGST in the sense, if any sales happen, one state to another state, then we don't go for CG and SGST, we go to IGST. Like goods sold to Delhi, goods sold to Mumbai, everything comes under IGST column. Hope you are clear. Yes, I'll go back to all your previous slides so that you can take screenshot. Yeah. Problem number one. Solution for problem one, aggregate turnover. Problem two. Solution for problem two. Aggregate turnover, problem three, problem three, solution for problem three, solution for problem three. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what do you mean by aggregate turnover and what do you mean by GST payable. These kind of basic problems only you will get in your examination. Don't go in depth, don't see all, any textbook because it will be difficult for you if you read textbook. Why? Because you have only 10 mark questions. So how much required for 10 marks? That much only you prepare for your examination. Thank you.